Fatal Fad Fridays, where we flex our brains and talk about diet culture on Fridays. I'm Brittany Howard, a blunt dietitian and the next dieter, here to talk to you today about the dangers of dieting. Diet culture has become a staple of our society and it often controls our choices because we have it ingrained in our brain that being thin equals being healthy. But spoiler alert, that is false. So let's fire up our brains and our metabolisms and let's get into today's topic. Thinking about things that taste like food, but aren't to stop your body from getting the calories and nutrition it needs in the name of weight loss, may I suggest hmm, the cotton ball diet. I shit you not, this is a diet that models are making famous and it is dangerous. Dangerous, this diet's dangerous. Honestly, I don't even wanna call it a diet. More so it's considered disordered eating. So what is it exactly? It's exactly like it sounds. Eating cotton balls, but depending on the internet source, you can soak them in juice to curb your appetite and make them taste a little bit better. But the idea is that the cotton ball with the juice will help suppress your appetite without you actually consuming food, um, or you'll consume a lot less food because your stomach will be full and you won't get those feelings of hunger. Yikes. So you're filling up with cotton balls. Yummers. I'm telling you right now, if someone ever, ever ate a cotton ball in front of me, it would literally be super hard for me not to idiot slap you. Yeah, I would just probably reach across and be like, bam, which is really bad. It's sad. This is a thing. People are so focused on weight loss that they're resorting to eating cotton balls. Just think about that for a minute. What the hell makes this sound like a good idea? Being thin or losing weight, when you're stopping to not make weight the focus and you make healthier choices, your body will do what it needs to do. We need to stop being fat phobic and focus on health rather than the diet culture craziness to look a certain way. Why do you want to punish your body for not giving it what it needs? This is considered a form of disordered eating and it has some very serious risks. So if you've tried this diet or if you've considered it, please reach out to a dietitian or a mental health professional to help repair your relationship with your body and food. We want to do what's best for you and your health and your safety. We want to do it safely. And cotton, cotton balls are not, they're not meant to be edible. They're processed. They have a lot of different bleaches and dioxins in them. And as you eat them, they can build up in your body and seep out into your body, not alone cause intestinal obstruction because you can't digest the cotton balls. They just sit in your intestine and start collecting mucus and food particles and other things until they create this mass called a bezoar. I hope I said that right. And they, the side effects are serious. It can put you with abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, gas, a lot of different things kind of clumping up and depending on the severity because it doesn't let food and liquids through it can lead to death of your intestinal tissue and cause different type of problems like infection and because it may actually cause death of your intestinal tissue long term if this were to go on and you continue doing this type of thing this could kill you i mean it's it is super freaking scary so i'm gonna say it again eating cotton balls is not normal it is not a normal way of thinking, it's not a healthy way of thinking, and it's usually caused from a fear of gaining weight. So if this is something that's going on in your brain and you're like, ah, oh, I may do this just to lose a couple pounds, that sounds like an undiagnosed eating disorder, and it really is important that you talk to somebody. Um, early signs of some eating disorders may be bloating, abnormal hair loss, lack of a period, fatigue, heart arrhythmias, other things like osteoporosis or nutritional deficiencies. People die from this because eventually your organs fail. And we're not meant to restrict our eating to be a certain way and look a certain way. We're meant to eat to fuel our bodies and all bodies are different and we have all different needs. And obviously, I hope it's obvious, um, this is not good for you. <laughs> and malnutrition means that you're not getting the nutrients that your body needs, which means that your body can have a lot of side effects or complications if you want to call them that. More complications because you're not giving it the nutrition that it needs. And if you don't give your body the nutrition it needs, it will shut down on you. It will. So just to reiterate, if you're not eating a lot of food, even if you're not eating cotton balls, malnutrition can cause um, a lot of problems. It can cause bruising, aching joints, thinning of your hair, bleeding gums, sensitivity to light, breaking your nails, different strength. You can start breaking bones. You can start having hip problems. You could just, I mean, 
it would it, it's bad you can get brittle stuff like malnutrition can kill you it's it's very scary um, so we need to listen to our bodies learn how to eat less restrictively while choosing more nutrient-dense foods honor our hunger and fullness cues as I always say and don't eat the freaking cotton balls so thank you all for joining me today listen to your body and remember do what's right for you your worth is not defined by your weight but by all the amazing things that you do and until next time you can chew on that.